Okay, so the next source that we're going to talk about is the Quixel Bridge. So to get started with the Quixel Bridge, you just need to download it from the Quixel website. And then once you have it, it'll be a nice little blue desktop icon, which once you open it, you can log into it with your Epic Games account. As long as you do that, everything here will be totally free. So make sure you log in with your Epic Games account. First thing you need to do is to go to your settings and just pick a library path. This will be where the mega scans are stored locally. This, file, this folder needs to have some space available because these are rather large. Once you have that set up, you want to go to your export settings. And this bit can uh, seem a little bit complicated, but really you're just trying to install the Quixel Bridge plugin into your correct engine version folder. So the first thing you want to do is set your export target to Unreal Engine. You'll notice that this can work with other softwares, but the, the trade-off is that it is not free with the other softwares. Uh, Epic Games actually just purchased Quixel, so it has made it free to use within their platform, but is not free within other platforms. So you pick Unreal Engine, and you pick your engine version, which in this case is 4.27, and this is where it gets a little bit complicated but not too complicated at all. So you'll need to navigate to the engine plugins folder, which you just go to wherever your engine is installed. So I have mine installed on my external drive. I have some older versions though in my program files folder, which is probably where you will find it. If you go to your programs file, uh, your program files, Epic Games, here you'll find where your, your engine versions are. I've just installed this most recent version on the other, other drive because they do get kind of large. So you just navigate to wherever you have that folder. And so I have mine in second Unreal, QB 4.27. And then you go to the engine folder and then the plugins folder. And once you have this folder selected, you'll see I already have this plugin installed, uh, you're good to go there. And it will go ahead and install that for you. Once you have that picked, you have to pick the folder of the the content folder of the desired project you want to be putting assets into. So in this case, I need to change this to the DTS demos content folder. And I'll hit select. And so now it knows here's the here's the engine version, here is the plugin for that engine version, and here is the project is going to be sending the content to. What you need to do though now is restart your project. This is very important. You have to restart your project. And the project has to be open. Once the project is open though, we can now just send assets directly to it. And I'm going to just do a demo of that. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pick a couple of assets that I'm going to use. Uh, for my scene build. Uh, I already have a bunch of these on my computer from where I've done this kind of work before. But I'm going to look for some kind of new assets to include into my scene. Um, taking a look at this gas can, this looks pretty nice. I don't, I don't really know exactly what I'm do doing just yet. I'm going to improv mine together. But you can start to put together a narrative uh, through the different objects that you might add. So you'll see that they have a, the work on the Quixel Bridge divided into different categories. So they have 3D assets, 3D plants, surfaces, decals, atlases, etc., etc. Today we will be mostly focusing on the assets, plants, and surfaces. The collections tab, though, has full sets of these assets collected together in one place. So, for example, uh, this one here is this is the render that they created with these assets and if you click on it these are all of the mega scans they used for that and i actually would think that they used a couple of boxes there so that's not maybe the best collection um now here's like a definitive breads collection right so you can browse by category in the collections tab a couple of these other ones that are really nice are the environment tab. So you can pick like urban environment and say urban trash. And it's going to be all of these different trash assets 
of different kinds. So I encourage you to shop around a little bit in this. You know, these are all free, so just take a second to think through what your narrative may end up being for your, what you're creating. And so since we're doing a still life, I think it's gonna be very appropriate for me to pick some food to put on the table. So I'm gonna grab a few fruits. Let's see here. I like avocados quite a lot. So I'm gonna grab avocados. So what you need to do is you need to download them. And uh, here you'll see the resolution of your download. So they, this will vary from asset to asset a little bit. The avocado, the max quality is 4K. So that's what I'm gonna use actually. And once I have it downloaded, as long as my project is open and I have gotten the correct path for the assets to go to in my export settings, you can just click export. And you'll see in the top right, it has exported it successfully to Unreal Engine. So I had some errors with my materials and I had to go in and fix something. So if you have the is an issue where your mesh and your material are all black when they are brought in, what you need to do is do a double click on the material find in the general tab the parent material and you can click this magnifying glass to jump to it in the content browser and what you'll need to do is something like this uh, so essentially you'll need to just rehook all of these lines back in and it will look something like this You'll notice that once you have exported from the Megascans, it actually creates its own folder in the content browser. And uh, you just kind of navigate into it and you'll find, here is my avocado. And you'll notice these little asterisks that are on, and that means you need to save them. So I'm gonna hit the save all button. And let's just like take a look at this for a second. So I'm actually gonna jump into my gray box scene and I'm going to drop in my avocado and here we go we have an avocado in our scene. So you can go through and you can add several different meshes to your project. And I'm actually gonna go through here and just do that. I'm gonna pick out some different assets that I'm just gonna add to this project that I'm gonna use for the creation of my still life. And I'll just kind of speed through and show you which ones I pick. So once all these things have added, uh, you'll notice I have a bunch of new folders within the Megascans folder, but all of them, if we go in, have these little asterisks by them. So what I'm gonna need to do is hit this Save All button. And this is important as it will save all of this stuff into the project. So now all my assets are in the scene and saved, and that is where we'll end this